those Marian days of telling tales. I now request Sister Irene Therese, the Superior of Mary Mount Convent, to welcome our esteemed Chief Guest. Let's all give a round of applause and welcome, sir, in our midst.
Thank you, sir. Your Lordship, Bishop Stephen wrote Luanga, we the Marian family is blessed to have you with us as the guest of honor. We believe that Bethany is dear to you and we acknowledge it with gratitude. As Jesus loved Martha and Mary of Bethany, you too show special care and concern towards us in times of need. Your valuable suggestions and advice for the betterment of the school helped us to carry forward our vision and mission even in adverse moments. Thank you for being a good shepherd in all our endeavors and blessing the occasion with your gracious presence. May I now request Sir Ajit to do the honor of welcoming our Reverend Bishop. Let's all welcome Bishop in our midst. Thank you, Bishop. It's a great honor and blessing to have Sister Rosaline, the Superior General of Bethany Congregation, who is also the present president of Bethany Educational Society. She is a person of unshakable faith, undaunted courage, and creative thinking. She has served the Bethany Congregation in various capacities as principal of number of educational institutions, provincial and general counselor, a formator and a trained counselor. Sister Rosaline holds a licentiate degree from the prestigious Gregorian University in Rome, Italy. Sister was the principal of Holy Cross School, Silcha. We greatly appreciate your deep love and keen interest and timely guidance towards Marian family. Thank you, sister, for coming to the hills and valleys of Mizoram to beautify the golden occasion. As a token of our love and gratitude, may I now request Sister Mary Kikon to welcome Sister Rosaline with the Mizor Shawl bouquet of flowers and a memento. Let's give a big hand and welcome sister amidst us. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. I extend a warm welcome to Sister Joy, a provincial superior and corporate manager of Bethany Educational Society, Northeast India. Your creative thinking, timely suggestions, and new innovations have helped us to move forward with courage in imparting value-based education to keep face with the changing scenario in educational field. Marian family is indebted to you for your constant accompaniment, guidance, and encouragement to impart quality education coupled with values. As a scholar and an educationist, you have enabled us to touch the hearts and minds of students with word and example. Thank you, sister, for being part of this celebration from the moment of first planning. We extend a gracious welcome to you, sister. I now request Mrs. Lucy Biaki to welcome Sister Joy on behalf of Mary Mount. Let's give a big hand and welcome sister in our midst. Thank you, Sister. I welcome Sister Ederberg, the Provincial Counselor, who is the Province Co Coordinator for Education and Youth. 
She has the special affinity towards Mary Mount as the superior headmistress at Mary Mount. She was also the provincial councillor and corporate manager of BS in Northeast Province. She deserves a big share in our welcome and thanks. We lovingly welcome you, sister, four in one. Let's, I request Ms. Tara to welcome Sister Edelberg with a bouquet of flowers and a mizu shawl. Let's welcome Sister in our midst. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. Sister Mary Laldigswali is the provincial councillor and she is the first Bethany Blossom from Ijol City. She is the formation coordinator in the province. I welcome you, dear Sister Mary, to the program in your own city. May I now request Ms. Angeline to welcome Sister in our midst. Let's welcome Sister among Amistas with a loud of applause. Thank you, Sister. Father Francis, the Paris priest of Christ the King Cathedral, who meets the spiritual needs of the sisters, teachers, and students. We are grateful to you, Father, for your selfless services rendered to us and your timely help, encouragement, and appreciation. May I now request Zolian Sangi to welcome Father amidst us. Let's give a big hand and welcome Father Francis, the Paris priest. Thank you, Father. Brother Vargis, your presence so much for us as you have taken the trouble and the time spent with speaks of your goodwill for Bethany and the school. As the provincial of Montford brothers, we acknowledge and cherish your esteemed presence and the contribution of the past and the present brothers. May I now request Sir Ajit to welcome Brother Vargis and Mistress. Let's give a big hand and welcome brother and mistress. Thank you, brother. Do you like PP? A special mention of brother Joe, the superior of Montfort Villa and brother James, the principal of St. Really? Paul's I Secondary School. We really value your solidarity with Marymount School and happily welcome you, a mistress. You like young <clears throat> I would like to recall the valuable contribution made by all the past and the present Montford brothers at this juncture. If Marymount has excelled in its education, in educational apostolate, no doubt it is due to the strong and dedicated teachers of the past along with the sisters. We are grateful to them and cordially welcome those who are present amidst us. May I request all the ex-teachers of Mary Mount to stand and let's all give a big hand of them who are present amidst us. Thank you. 
Thank you, teachers. We welcome the alumni office bearers and the first batch of alumni. It has a great pleasure to work with you for the well-being of the school and I welcome each one of you to this special program towards which you had immense contribution. So I request all the first batch alumni who are present here to stand and let's all give a round of applause. Thank you. When we remember the first batch of the alumni, we are very much pleased and we want to acknowledge the presence of Sister Otelia. We will be doing the honor a little later, but now I request Sister Otelia to stand and let's all give a big hand, round of applause. She is the pioneer in Marymount. She has spent her years and she is made it possible to be present. Thank you, sister. I greatly acknowledge the constant support and strength of Mr. Henry Almoizola and Mrs. Terezi, members of the school managing committee, the parent representatives for their active participation in sharing the pulse of the parents are very valuable. I welcome you to this golden celebration of the institution which you consider as your own. With immense pleasure, I welcome all the parents' guardians and we cherish your partnership and collaboration in all our endeavors. You have entrusted your children to our care with confidence. We have always wanted to keep that trust and strive to fulfill the objective of imparting transformative education for fullness of life. You are here today to witness in a small measure what your children are up to. We value your esteemed presence, dear parents and guardians. Thank you for making what Mary Mount School today. A very loving and warm welcome to each and every one of you. Let's put our hands together and welcome all the parents and the guardians. Dear well wishes, your goodwill, appreciation, motivation has great impact in the integral dimension of the growth of this institution. With a spring in my step, anticipation in my heart, I welcome you to this gathering. I also want to thank all the Paris priests who always had a special concern and love for Mary Mount School and also the assistant Paris priest of Christ the King Cathedral. We have, we had Father Paul here, Father Jay Sheelan, and Father Michael was present for Mass. And we gratefully acknowledge the presence of all the fathers brothers, sisters who are present here for making it possible to be present for this Golden Jubilee celebration. May God bless you for the sacrifice that you have made and making it possible to be present at this moment. So in the name of all of us present here, let us welcome all the fathers, brothers, sisters amidst us. I heartily welcome everyone who has adorned this Mount of Mary with your kind presence. A warm and affectionate welcome to all of you, dear invitees, friends, teachers, students, and to each and everyone present here. May your presence, goodwill, prayers, and blessings let Mary Mount continue to grow, flower, bear fruit, for every child who enters the portals of Mary Mount School. Have an enjoyable time. May God bless all of us and have a wonderful time. Thank you. Dear respected sir, 
Lalchanda Maharalte, the Honorable Minister of Education, Government of Mizoram, the Chief Guest of the Golden Jubilee Celebration of Mary Mount School. Dear and respected Sister Rosaline, our Superior General, and the President of the Bethany Educational Society, the Guest of Honor, dear and most reverend Stephen Ruth Luanga, Bishop of Aizol, spiritual leader of the Diocese of Aizol. Father Francis, our parish priest, Brother Verghese, the provincial superior of Montfort brothers, all the fathers, brothers, sisters, parents, staff, dear students of Mary Mount School, well wishes and each and every one present here. I greet you with fond love and with a grateful heart for your presence here today. It is with great pleasure that we have gathered here and celebrate not just as Mary Mount or Bethany sisters, but as Isol Town. 50 years in an institution may not look to be a very long period in itself, but considering the impact that this institution has made over half a century, I should say not in Isol, but also in Mizoram as such, Mary Mount is a signpost. We have witnessed today just a glimpse of how Mary Mount has impacted the society. I am extremely glad that our superior general, Sister Rosaline, is here to be part of our celebration. Certainly, it is due to the Bethany congregation that Mary Mount is standing atop this hill as a lighthouse. Thank you, dear Sister Rosaline, for your constant care and guidance to the sisters and the convent and the school we have received from you personally, as well as from all former superiors general and presidents of Bethany Educational Society, the secretaries, the council of management too. You see to it that the religious life is lived in the convent rigorously and that the school keeps up to date and relevant to the changing times. Mary Mount Convent, which is the residence of the sisters, was and is the beacon light of Mount Mary. It is through their unfailing and selfless commitment that Mary Mount School has reached to this pinnacle. There are gentle stalwarts as at its helm, enabling the school to continue to be what it is today. I appreciate each and every sister who lived on this mountain overlooking the city and for caring and nurturing the school from its infancy through adolescence and now reaching full adulthood. The role of Education Department of Mizoram, Sir Minister, tells on our records that the government of Mizoram has made appreciable contribution, including the financial grants to the school initially, which perhaps sisters considered as a big sum in those early days of the school. And it relieved our sisters from a lot of anxiety to have such financial assistance. Admitting a few teachers to the deficit salary system was also a great support. Now though, the number of teachers has swollen up to nearly 50. The support and care we received from our Bishop Ruth Luanga was immeasurable. We are always indebted to you Dear Bishop Rutluanga, for you have never failed any opportunity to make our presence felt 
and to appreciate the sisters and their services. Thank you, Father Francis, and all the parish priests of this cathedral here, brothers, the Montfort brothers, our immediate neighbors, to go to the to go to the church. We have to go a few steps down, and to go to the brothers, we have to go a few steps up, and so we are there in the middle, which is a hell. The school started with 30 children, is opening its portal to over 1,700 students. It is unbelievable that this steep, slippery cliff can carry this load, not only of children, but of the parents, teachers, and others in addition to the few buildings that stand here. Certainly, it is the blessing of our Lord Jesus and his blessed mother who is crowned and honored as the Mary of this mount who are sustaining the burden of this mount. I thank you, dear parents in particular. It is your acceptance of Mary Mount as an educational institution with a difference that enabled you to place your child your word in this school. The word was, has spread and the trend is set. So we have all the four buildings here bursting at the seams with the tiny dots and of course not so tiny when they reach class eight, which is the last class in the school. Dear parents, your unstinted support and esteem how made this day possible, I should say. You encouraged and positively affirmed what was beneficial for the growth of our children. You gave critical appraisal when things were not so helpful, and yet you stood by Mary Mount. You took the risk and the challenge and reposed faith in Bethany sisters. Therefore, on behalf of the Bethany Congregation, on behalf of the Bethany Educational Society's management, would like to offer you my felicitations on this occasion of the Golden Jubilee of the school and thank you heartily for your benevolence. I assure you that we shall continue to live up to the dream of Monsignor RFC Mascarenas, now articulated through the vision, goal, and core values of Bethany Educational Society, and you can see them printed or the flexes hanging all over, and the children can recite them very well through memory, and they are well-versed in this vision, goal, and core values, and we encourage them to practice them, not only to know them, but to practice them in their homes. So when we ask them, well, how do you practice your compassionate love and you are caring for others? They say, we are helping our parents at home. I don't know how much they help you, but that is what they think. One way of practicing is helping their parents. So Mary Mount has grown, blossomed, and borne fruit. Mary Mount is the, in the 50th year of its inception, while the Bethany's foundation is soon going to celebrate its uh, centenary in 2021, which is less than two years away. Therefore, the Bethany sisters arrived here when the congregation was 50 years old. I wish to say many thanks, but I'm sure you all are waiting for your children's performance, so it's not fair on my part to keep you long, but I just want to say that we appreciate all of you who are present here for you have come keeping your trust, your confidence, and your love for Mary Mount School and for Bethany Sisters. Let me offer my congratulations and thanks to Sister Sylvie who bore the burden of celebrating this occasion along with all the sisters of the community. 
especially Sister Irene, the superior and the local manager, and the staff. A special word of thanks to you, dear staff members. I know that you have been spending not just school timings, but up till 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, maybe some I hear, you are here till 11 in the night on these past 15 days. So you have been doing great, and so I thank you and appreciate your efforts in celebrating this jubilee. Not only this jubilee, but you have prepared your children very well. And so you are all eager, and we are also very happy and edified. So thank you for your generous and selfless service. The students who were also the congratulations and um, jubilee, happy jubilee to the students too, who were as happy as the larks in putting their best foot forward and of course to miss some classes too during these days. So thank you and continue to enjoy your children's performance here. Let God bless all of us and help Mary Mount to continue to grow, flower and bear fruit. Thank you. Respected guests of honors, most Reverend Stephen Dutluanga, Bishop of Aizol, Respected Sister Rose Celine, Superior General of Bethany Congregation. Respected Sister Zoe, Provincial Superior. Headmistress, teachers, alumni, students, parents, and distinguished guests. I bring you warm greetings and best wishes on this auspicious occasion. I feel privileged to participate in the Golden Jubilee celebration of Marymount Convent and Marymount School. It is indeed an honor to be invited here today. First, first of all, I would like to thank Sister Sylvia for the generous words of welcome, I do admire the undulating persistence of the headmistress and P. Therese for the effort they have given to make sure that I attend today function positively. They are very convincing and hence here I am. As much as I would have liked to stay, till the end of the function. I am very sorry to say that I will not be able to sit through as I have to attend some other matters elsewhere. I like to express, if you permit me, Bishop Sir, I would like to express my words in our local language because it is convenient for me, convenient for majority of us. To can see a hand, Mary Mount, school, Golden Jubilee, Lomnatura. At yang a somna, kadong hi, kalom kop maya. Hun rey to takatang kan, kan hau tu ten, minon soma. He hun hi ha del takin kathira. Kay engagement peta po kada ani. Amara sa tuna ka soyang kan program siya loglo. Til dang klasip awangin. Til thailo tura ka inaya. Maseng kan head mistress tule kan how to dang te chanem ngay na awangin. Ka program turte kasi soy hun turte min siya mrem saka kalau til ve theita kalom le may. Voin hi ayin siir om lo ukati. Golden Zubili kan lom na raw raw mun tam taka katil to ah. Kan teachers kan faculty te in buas sa inat ha katiya. Kan lo pang ten mang chang kaya. Lo pang te te anan patispeta. Helaya hun toy te te chan vo atam te ang an peka raw pui katiya. Lo pang ho an tiyama mo ang nuwama mit ang titlay kalom lemay 
tin kan ngai tuale ta kum sang kha jakua somruk le pakua he meri mount school hi chan alonia bethani mission ten bulan lo chana kandra ma jirna thatak mai min pe hi kalom re mai kandra ma jirna bul kanchan chona abikin mission lamin an contribution achaleya roman catholic society chunga monfort brothers ten 1952 st pauls and laudina bethany sisters ten sangkha jakwa somruk pakua mary mount school and laudina tin mizoram hun sang sanga don bosco te holy cross te society sang sang ten kanram education a contribution lian tak nein education in atum all round development kan chang thar te kan lo pang te chutiang tu chu an impata an pe a kalom le a an contribution hi aro pui kati kohran pol dang te po in Presbyterian Church te Baptist te tin chutiang in kohran pol dang seven day adventist te le adang dang te po in kanrama zirna institution and on din chauzel hi alom oma education hi kanzui lali so krista zirti tu ro pui rong bol na chun zom na ani kha zirtir le ti dam na thok tu ani zirtir na angai poim ngo ko khan ho tin chu zirtir na ti sa le thara wa kan mi te an dam zel thina turin an survive zel thina turata na ma kan la hi ro pui ka tia ko khan hian he ai thuk zo education field chai hian kan lu chil deu deu hi kan ram mamo ni in ka sia adot le chuan hoi na meri maun sikul hi kan moto love one another ti hi ka bua kan nun ane khop mai midang te ta na mal som na ni hi education ni na atum pakhat ni in ka sia bethani education society hian anga i poim em em chu all round development of student tenia zirna lotlinna ringot nilo zirna lotlinna neya mani le mani chung ko tan chau nilo midang ta na mal som na nitura kan society ta na mal som na nitura kan ko san cheu ta na mal som na ni chun zum zel hi he zirna in atum lai mu ni in ka hria to so love one another ti kan mato hian aken tel ni ka hria chu thin lung chu voina zir line mek ten kan put zel kaduani voina hian min tilom em em tu pa khat chu he meri mount sikul le he sikul kal chuak to te alumni te in zom na that zia alang theya na china khanin kan how to the principal the khan in belhia tirna aron tar chuaka khatizat first batch atang tele batch dang dang te po in local kan mu khan he school hian afa te nen in thunjom na tha ane ya society nen in thunjom na tha ane chunjom zel ni ti ka muwa ma ni kal chuana puitlinga min siam tu mangai na chang sia vo in ang kum som nga tlin lom na theng po a tha tham lo tu student an ex students te an ring chuak kha he muna rong bol tu te ro pui na pi alama an fa hin te ne na in kung kai na tha an nu chhe chun zom kha ro pui ka ti tak zet zet ani tin voi na hian ka ngai poi mo lian deu mai han soitel kan du le chu kan ram education siam that na mo phurna mizoram sarkar hoya po department lian ber 
থোকু পো তম বের জৌরম দুলে ভাং দাব সুক ডিপার্টমেন্ট কে এজুকে সুনি চু মো ফুরন কানহ উতু উতলে পথিয়ন দু সক চা আমিস্টার আঙাম ফুন কন লু আপো এং মোচি মাল কানহন ইয়ান কাই পুইমো লিয়ান ফরম স্রং স্রং আপো কসই তো কনরম কন নাম হিয়ান আম বেড়ু এজুকে রিভাইভল কে কে থিম ফিন ইনস্টিটুশন থা তম তক আলো দিং খোবেল থি আচুয়ান চং থু আনেমো কনফ্রিয় না আলো সঙ্গ জো জেল আনেম থে নচি কন সুই আখান এজুকে আতম তক তক ওরাম ডেভলপমেন্ট কন্তি আখান তুনা কনথিম লাভ ওন আনাডার কন্তি আছি ইে সোসাইটি আহ হব চেন কে মানে খোসথে কিনে লোটি কনফ্রি আুটি চু তুলাই খোবে ইন্ডিভিজুয়ালিজম ইস মাই লাইফ তি তুলাই মিটম তক্ত সুটি আংটে আন বই পুই আন্তুই পুই লাইন নুহ চেন হো কে না এজুকে থা জি তি নয় পথিয়ন চি নে মিদং তে খোসক হো সুটি আংথে রাসু কে আতু সোলে ইংখ্রি কন সোসাইটি এজুকে তম তক কে রাসু তম তক হিয়ান আয় উপ জি ইে জৌ নাম জেমো কন্তি ইে মিদং তে কন নুন হো না কন জির সু আতু রে কনরম আহিয়ান কন লাম সোদ বিউ নি নিয়ত চু রিভাইভল আচু থিম তক তক খোবেল থি থিম তক তক পিএলম নুহ চেন হো কে নাম বিল আংপ কন মো ফুর আহিয়ান হে এজুকে হিয়ান চু থিম নে নুনফুং থাচু মিনজির তির তেল সে তি হি কদু তিন সোসাইটি হ্রিম হ্রিম পো হিয়ান এজুকে হি আলাই লুম কন সোসাইটি হেন কন দুজম আতু খোপ মাই ডিপার্টমেন্ট দংতলে থি দংতনে না খাই খি চি আনি মিশ্রিং কন মিশ্রি না সোর সুক কন নি তুর আং মি নি তির মি নি তির লোথে তুচু এজুকে হি আনি হিউমান রিসোর্সেস ডেভলপমেন্ট আহি এজুকে না আতুম লিয়ন বের আনি ভাং ইন এজুকে আহিয়ান নু লে পাসাইটি কৌশন সরকার আং পো ইন গাই পোইম জুয়াল কন সোসাইটি এন হুনসং কন চন্তি জুয়াল হি আচু চু চু কনরম কন নাম দিন সোনা তুর পো আনি চু চু বইন হেন কঙ্গাই পোইম এ চুটিয়ং কল কু মিজোরম আপনার চন্দ চং মাসোয় তু চন্দ চং মেরিম সিকুল গোলডেন জুবিলি কনহন লোম থে হি কলোম তক জে জেত হুন লো কলে জে তু রাপো মেরিম সিকুল হিয়ান জৌরম তান ফদু ওম তমজোক হ্রিং জেল সেন কন সোসাইটি মিহন তাক ভোইন আপো ইন ফদু ওম তক তক হ্রিন তে কন ইঞ্জিনিয়ার তে কন ডক্টর তে কন সিভিল সার্ভিস অল ইন্ডিয়া সার্ভিস কে ইমেক তে চার্স লিডার কে ইন ফ্রিন তে কন লো মু আদু ওম কন্তি কানরম হেন ফদু ওম হ্রিং তু তুর ইনস্টিটুশন আম মেক জেল ফদু ওম তমজো হ্রিং জেল উল কন্দু কনরম আম থি তম তক অল ইন্ডিয়া সার্ভিস আনিয়ম কং চিকিম আন ক্লাক বল না ডিফেন সার্ভিস আনিয়ম আতম খোপ মাই চু আং কং আচুয়ান ইন নৌ পং সং খাত সারি চুয়ং ইন এন কোল তেজি ইং আচং তে থে থর লো কলে জেল তু রা তেপো হিয়ান ফদু ওম তমজো জৌরম মামো সা হিং বেল তুর ইন দু সক না কলিয়ান চুয় জির তি তুরুয়াল সোমা জেত জোত হে ইনস্টিটুশন থোক তে চন লালে জুয়ালা হে রং বোল না হি পথিয়ান মিন কৌ না আনি মিশন ফিল নিদি থি লু পু এ ইন জি তি না হি লোসুন জোম জেল তুর পো ইন দু সক না কহলান চৌনি 
Merman Sikul and Yemo, Deficit Mission Sikul and Poa, Can Education Can Kalzel, Tura Yan, Mamo Le Harsana, Can Neapo, Mizoram Sorkar Yan, Soy Hova, Ate Chin China, Nangmani, Mantrankai, Tran Puija, Ain Huam Tihi, Kasoy Nondua, Kandram Education, Siam Chaa, Education Tak Tak. Apoi mo na mipuya tu chunzom turin itang ho uze lang u enga mo voi ni ayan ko alian han ni ta ka mamo te chul te kan na yem tiin kan hen mistress te po kan zo ta eng ma voi na ayan dilay soy an na ilo amay ro chu heti tiat heti zat institution juan har sa na lai le tlak bal na lai po kan na ite ye entik lai po in sorkarin kan lo welcome chewa ka office po in kan lo welcome chewa kan thei china in ma nangma ni tan pui turin kan lo in peyang kan thei china kan lo in honge ti in ka thutang ka kom du ni meri mam sikul akal le se na tura du sak na sang ber ka la ne ka lo me good afternoon to all of you chibai on this auspicious occasion of golden jubilee of Mary Mount, I, with the sentiments of Mother Mary, the patroness of this institute, exclaim, My soul glorifies the Lord, for he has done great things for me. Nay, for us in Bethany congregation, the church, the diocese of uh, Aizual, the state of Mizoram, and the city Aizual. Respected Chief Guest, Mr. Lal Chandama Lalte, Honorable Minister of Education, Government of Mizoram, Guests of Honor, Most Reverend Stephen Rotluwanga, Bishop of Aizual, Sister Joy, the Provincial Superior and Corporate Manager of Bethany Education Society, Northeast Province, all our guests, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Brothers, Sisters, Parents, Alumni, Alumni, the staff, students, my joy knows no bounds for what God has accomplished over the 50 years. Thanks to God Almighty and to our Mother Mary. My heartiest congratulations to all who contributed their might to make Mary Mount what it is today. Reminiscing the origin of this institution, I recall late Monsignor George Breen CSC the Prefect Apostolic of Haflong, who invited Bethany sisters to take charge of the school, late Sister Greta, the pioneer superior, who was instrumental to rename the school as Mary Mount School and change the medium of instruction into English, along with three other sisters, namely, Sister Otelia, who is present here today, Sister Livinia, and Sister Ludina, who dedicated themselves in pioneering the mission. The successive superiors have rendered their committed service to the community of sisters and have kept alive the spark of faith and flame of love burning with zeal for the people of Mizoram. The sisters who have lived here have recounted to me about their fears of the unknown, inhibitions to enter into the homes of a different culture, insecurities experienced during the insurgency, lack of water, and a few times even food, the experience of cold winter, 
unlike the southern climate of the coastal belt, the fatigue of climbing the mountains and counting the steps. At the same time, what sustained them was the faith in the divine, the hope that things would change someday as we see it today for the better, the vision of our founder, the charism of our congregation, the missionary zeal like a little flower, and love and loyalty to the Institute. Hats off to them who dared to persevere. I'm glad some are here to witness this golden day. They climbed two steps at a time and they ran, but today their speed is slow, but that's life. But how glad we are that you are here today. We'll give them a round of applause. <laughs> Coupled with it, the pastoral care that we received from our Bishop late Denzel de Souza, whom I had known personally when I was the principal of Silchar, and of our present Bishop, Most Reverend Stephen Ratluanga, who knows us so personally and cares for us. The spiritual nourishment that we have received from the priests of the diocese, collaboration from the Montfort Brothers of St. Paul, support from the other religious communities, and the loving welcome by you, our dear Mizos, support by the education department, and the officials gave the sisters required courage and confidence to forge ahead as the days passed by. Today, the people of Mizoram and very especially of Aijol have become our own and I'm sure that you claim us as your own. And that gives us a lot of trust confidence and courage. Our fears have now disappeared and we walk with you with loving embrace. Thank you for this great welcome that you give us. In fact, yesterday, I was surprised that after the program, just before starting the prayer, I noticed there was hardly anybody in the community. And I asked, where are the sisters? And they said, they have gone to visit the sick. They have gone to visit the families whom they have known. How beautiful and wonderful it is. I feel there is a close bond of relationship between you and us. And we are proud that in 1962, that it is in Mizoram, at Kolaseb, that we made our first footprints. So, in fact, we are the first women religious to enter Mizoram and serve this state. I'm glad and proud of it. And our congregation, with this far-sighted vision, sent young missionaries to Northeast, energetic and committed. We, and they spent, the, and we spent, in fact, the best of our human resources and financial resources too, to ensure that God's kingdom may spread in this place. So, I must say, it's a fruit of our labor. God also has blessed us with 18 daughters of soil, that is 18 sisters from Mizoram who render their service in India and abroad. Shall we put our hands together for these young sisters and their parents who made this sacrifice and reposed their trust in Bethany. I'm grateful to you, dear parents. Thank you. I know when we are gone, then they are there to carry on. I only hope that they do not forget 
the pains of the past that this infrastructure is built brick by brick through the hard labor of their predecessors and each one has a role to build on the past and having less hurdles to overcome i desire that they become the harbingers of good news of jesus christ and a beacon of light for the generation to come and i wish them all the best mary mount school to has seen the heights of growth both in strength and excellence the successive headmistresses have striven hard to raise the academic standard of the school through quality education and the school proved to be a premier institution by its track records in various co-curricular activities at state level and also at national level the moral and the spiritual values have been integrated in teaching learning process bethany education society core values have been assimilated the students have strengthened their spiritual brace through god experience and it is a great joy for me that we can begin our programs in the name of the father and the son and the spirit and the holy trinity etc only here in mizoram i've been traveling through the breadth and the length of our country and abroad but when we travel from punjab and haryana in the north kanyakumari in the south arunachal pradesh in the east and gujarat in the west it is not that easy to call on the name of jesus so openly and confidently but at it is i think it is our special privilege to be so here in the mizoram so it is a great thing i must say yes we are in a christian state and i feel very happy and they feel that this ground is a sacred ground and our children have also imbibed the compassionate love for the poor and the marginalized they live in communion and collaboration in spirit a value that is uh, embedded in every tribal culture and rightly so in mizo culture and here each one's unique potentialities have been tapped in view of contributing to a just and humane community similarly the dignity of labor has been emphasized so that children have no hesitation to sweep the class or mop the floor it's something very good truth as i see in tanzania of course every child in tanzania though a poor country a clean country every child comes with some tool either a broom or a scythe or a sickle and i see this value also here truth love justice and peace is paid attention to respect for life nature culture religions and love for the nation have been highlighted this has brought about a transformation in the society in its spiritual moral and social values consequently the students have passed the port who have passed the portals of mary mount stand tall in the society i think there are quite many of them at the beginning we saw them standing i'm very happy and congratulate you for having uh, treating this alma mater with great love and respect and i'm sure you in turn contribute to the society i owe a debt of gratitude to the staff members in particular who collaborate with us and have been collaborating all these years and you dear parents who support us continuously therefore we'll put our hands together for all our staff members and our parents here and what shall we say about our students i heartily congratulate you dear students on your excellent performance shall we give them a round of applause
so brisk smart and sweet yes and the staff members who directed them and i heartily congratulate all those who made their contribution to the growth and development of this institute i pray god's blessings on sister irene teres the superior of the community and silvia montero the headmistress uh, the members of the staff who have been through their skills guiding all the students so hats off to the headmistress silvia the superior here irene teres and to all others who have collaborated with them yes you want to give a round of applause to them i thank all the past provincial superiors sister lilis the assistant superior general at the moment sister kenesia sister ilberg sister noelin and sister joy the present provincial superior and the corporate manager i felicitate you on your commitment to this institution to all other institutions in the northeast which belong to bethany education society and also of supporting our sisters who work in diocese and, and collaborating with other management and supporting all our people so thank you sister joy and all of you you all, all the council members sister sandhya sister ilberg sister mary dicky and sister lucius and uh, sister carmen my heartiest congratulations to all of them and i pray god's blessings on this convent and the school that they may grow flower and bear fruit in the years to come in hundredfold as per the centenary theme of bethany congregation to be celebrate inaugurated in the coming year 2021 and uh, sorry 2020 and uh, will reach its climax in 2021 i extend a warm welcome to all of you to mangalore for the centenary celebration of bethany congregation today it started with four uh, teachers and then an indigenous congregation that was born in mangalore but today it has spread in 187 convents in nine countries it's all because the far sighted vision of our father founder monsignor rfc mascorenas who is declared as a servant of god 11 years ago and the process is on in rome for the cause of the beatification and canonization we invite you to come to mangalore to visit founders memorial to seek his blessings and to pray for him and through him may he bless uh, all of us and i pray god's blessings on all of you and all of us kalome respected uh, chief guest of the day the honorable minister of education who loves and the rate our guest of honor sister <clears throat> rose selim and sister superior general of the bethany congregation sister joy the provincial superior of the northeast province and brother vergis the provincial superior of the Montford brothers uh, reverend father francis the uh, parish priest my dear fathers my dear 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 sisters all the staff members dear parents guardian distinguished guests and specially invited guests today and all representatives from different congregations and my dear students um Uh, my memories as a small boy i mentioned it in the church today goes back to the time before the brothers Montford brothers and the bethany sisters were here 
when the Canadian Holy Cross brothers were here. And I remember them having built a very long house over there, a wooden house with tile, wall, and aluminum roof, starting where Brother Aurel, as I said this morning, was also spent most of his life, who passed away just a few days ago for his funeral, I was there. And uh, part of the structure is still retained there. Whenever I come here, I remember those childhood memories. That's how today my feelings wells up. And by God's mysterious design, has chosen the Bethany, little flowers of the Bethany sisters, to carry on the legacy, not only the Bethany sisters, but also the Mahler brothers, the legacy and the foundation, strong foundation laid by the Holy Cross brothers and the fathers. Thanks be to God for these wonderful instruments that God has chosen to carry on to be to continue to be a blessing for our Mizoram state and whoever comes to benefit from this ministry and service. Um, <clears throat> now I'm happy to see that the humble house by God's grace has been passed on and has now become not only the second home as Superior General Sister Rosaline has mentioned, second home uh, of the Little Flower Bethany Convent after the Colossi here in Mizoram, but also now has completed 50 years of fruitful service and very valuable contribution to the church, to the diocese, and to the society, and even to the state. Old Berwick Valley and here in Mizoram. We raise our hearts in profound joy, in profound joy to God for having uh, blessed and guided this learning institution where thousands of our children and students are molded, formed and educated for the past 50 years. We just witnessed how beautiful the very present children are molded and formed even our chief guest is wonderstruck. How could they manage so well? There's no time wasted. Although it is long, it is so enjoyable. That's why he stays on deal now. He's supposed to go earlier, actually. Can chief, can chief guest no point? No pang ho. Can he perform well and work? Ah, mo no matiyan ngay, no matiyan. E alakal alakol he he big long. Niyan kasi yah kan long ko may. Some of you may remember our Honorable Minister Ulal Sandama was a student leader here when we had some incident here in St. Paul. Now, by God's grace, he has become, God has chosen him to be the education minister now. This is all God's doing, I'm sure. So we congratulate him. And he is with us today, uh, being so open even to help us in our need, uh, as he himself expressed it. Um, I am particularly happy to have the first batch, uh, Sister Utilia, and also of happy memory, Sister Greta, Sister Ludina, and Levina. I don't know how many are still there, but today definitely we see Sister Utilia and Sister Harriet. Uh, I'm always, whenever, it, it's, it's wonderful grace that you are with us, sisters, to remind us of the good old days. Uh, you know, the, the real missionary commitment and dedication that we still see through you. Uh, I, I, for me, looking at Sister Harriet and all these, you know, the Sister Audrey and all those people are nothing less than saints. Their missionary zeal and commitment and loyalty and dedication and everything else is so inspiring for me to today. As a bishop, I'm, I'm telling you that you still inspire me. Yeah. <laughs> and also many people, Sister 
Even for her, of course, I remember her because when I was a new priest in Champai, she was the one who invited me first to design the chapel there and make use of my little talents. So she's the Eden Park. I'm never growing old. She's ever young and ever active. So we congratulate her sister. And many others I can go on mentioning. My sister Spleen and then sister, uh, where? Um, yeah, Hidegar, sister Kiren, uh, so many sister Am Amrit. You know, it's a complex number of them. So I uh, thank you. Uh, you really bring back the good memories, nostalgic memories even. So I thank you for all your great contribution to make what Mary Mount and what it is today. Mizotu Nakasoi, thank you. So, Sapron Helen and Takin, Eli, Mary Mount, Lev St. Paul, Te, Tuna, my brother, Tele, the three sisters, Te, Omahian, all across Canadian brother, Te, Sapomai Khan, Brother Godfrey, whom light of Khan, in St. Kinsa, aluminium, starting in Talmagin. That's on Rita and Watsumia Sakura, like Lydas of Kashaka, Kagaya, Lumalin, who come to light of his dinner and say, Kill Kane, Masa Hima, but here never want the Maktak Mahin, between his sisters, the late and one for brothers, the Kaliki Sea, a road, a boom, a road to it, the Malay Foundation, Hitaka, Holy Cross, and a low, Pumaka, soon some zeal, a powerful zeal to Ra, Lampan the Tangle, a Pompuizeli, along with the Emily Vinian. Education is and will continue to be one of the most important uh, part of our mission and ministry which aims at a deeper transformation of the life of an individual and of the society and we continue to commit ourselves to this important goal of integral formation and all-round development to prepare persons to face life with confidence it's a matter of great joy i think this what I just said is beautifully uh, summarized, synthesized in your vision uh, that we saw there in your goal. Transformation of education for fullness of life for all, especially the marginalized and rural poor and the girls, girl child, through an integral formation in partnership with God to build his kingdom. Beautiful vision and goal, I think education society of Bethany is very clear in your vision. And I see you make effort to live, not simply in the paper or right on the wall, but you try to inculcate, I think, to a very great extent, to the children. We see that, I think, quite to a great, some great degree. So keep up that good works. On this joyful occasion, we cannot forget and we do remember with gratitude Monsignor Green and the first shepherd of our diocese, late Bishop Denzel de Souza, for their pastoral care and vision by supporting Mary Mount to be a source of great um, blessing, not only for the people of this Islam and this locality around this area, but also for those who came, who came up in life, who benefit from these portals of learning. My sincere appreciation for the loyal and selfless commitment and dedication to our dear Bethany sisters and their associates and all the collaborators, teaching and non-teaching staffs, and, and also express my very sincere gratitude to all the parents, guardians, good number of whom have come today and yesterday even more, I think, and also our local and our church, cathedral church leaders, uh, well-wishers and very especially the government officials represented by our chief guest, our Honorable Education Minister today, for their valuable support, prayers, and their trust and confidence in us, in our sisters. Uh, uh. What I'd like to stress uh, towards the end is that, you know, as a Christian state, enjoying this freedom of, you know, uh, democratic, democracy, country, democratic country and um, freedom of religion, how long we don't know the way the garden is going, we don't know how long we're going to enjoy this beautiful freedom. So in this context I'd like to stress the utmost importance of not only human formation but Christian formation and even in our Catholic institution, Catholic formation, very important. 
without prejudice to any all other non-Catholics or other religions who come who welcome 100% fully. But we must not lose our identity uh, by inculcating in, in our young people not only human but Christian uh, values in Catholic institution, Catholic values, moral and spiritual values, without which our you know, academic excellence for which we are well known as Catholic institutions and um, also uh, our bri brilliant performance will be futile. Um, so our aim ultimately is, as I summarize it, to produce these young generations, our children, you know, people spiritually oriented, religiously inclined, morally upright, and socially conscious, um, culturally distinct, and nationally integrated. If we can inculcate these values deep down, I think they'll be very well formed human persons as they grow up. Um, so I pray that Marymount School uh, will remain true to its motto which is beautiful as Kanjit Gyas Bhutasoy and Kan Lap one another in Mangai Tongro seeking to educate I want to repeat again not only the mind but also the heart not intellectual capacity development but the heart quality of the heart teaching not merely to be successful but to be humane and to be compassionate your vision your goal imparting not only quality but also gospel values, moral values, and uh, Christian values. Learning not simply to be efficient and effective, but to be a person of integrity and honesty, which our country, country lacks lack so much. The whole nation is going, uh, going astray because there is no integrity. We don't find integrity and honesty. People can be bought. Ministers can be bought. My God, you know the situation. Where is the integrity? Where is the honesty? If so much money is in front of them, no one can resist. That's where we have reached that low. How low is our country going? So it's sad. Serving not only the bright and the strong, but serving especially the weak and the poor. I'm especially happy to know that Mary Mount is making effort. And in some way, I think you go out of your way to help and visit the poor children. As Sister Superior said, I'm surprised that they all disappeared. They go to visit poor families, uh, not only poor, but other families. Unless we integrate our learning, academic excellence with pastoral visits and so on, no use. I think our education alone will be very lopsided. We have to integrate with our pastoral care also. That's how you can help us, our dear sisters, dear brothers, dear fathers. So, uh, to know, make out of it, go, make giving concession. I think the true criteria of the value and success of our education institution is really not how many people, the brilliant people who are already clever and smart, pass in the first and distinction and get grants, but how many poor, deprived children you are able to bring up even though they can never score first uh, and distinction and so on. I think we should revive our criteria. The success and value, true value of our institution depend on how many poor people who need upliftment, who are marginalized, you're able to help. If you don't do that, great excellence, top ranking, good, but they have no lasting. I mean, we really don't transform the society in that way. So, I'd like to request uh, me because you have done so well to carry on this good work and going this way. Lastly, I invoke God's abundant blessing upon Mary Mount Convent and the school, and especially with a new superior, Sister Irene and Sister Sylvia, the now outgoing superior, but plus that, but headmistress, uh, me and then also the entire congregation, the little flower of Bethany, so as to carry on the mission with new vitality and renewed enthusiasm. And may this golden, golden uh, celebration uh, boost you up, as it boosts all of us. May the
the Lord who began the good works through your founder, Mascarinas Raymond FC, uh, Raymond Mascarinas, uh, has Margarinas and the community continue to guide, inspire, strengthen and bless you so as to fulfill his plan and bear fruits ever more abundantly. God bless you all. Hello, hello. Uh, uh, we have a clip out here which we would like to uh, play and it has, uh, we have a sound, a song which uh, reverberated during our times in the school. We would like everybody to join, who, whoever knows the song. But before that, uh, I would like to call up uh, all my colleagues, my alumni colleagues, the first students, 15 of them, all of you are here today. So uh, can, I, can, can you please join me? Because the school has something for you. Please. And as you come up, uh, uh, without wasting time, I would like to, uh, yeah, please, some 15 of you have come. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Ramoyi, uh, Mrs. Ramoyi, Biak Zuali, Zampui, Tungamhinkha. Kimi. Ah, uh, Mazovi, I might miss someone. Miss, uh, Mrs. Tommy, Eli, Muri, Moite, uh, pa, Moite, uh, Parte, Van Shinkui with the bishop, and Tang, uh, yeah, Tang Pui, and then, yeah, and Lian Pui, Zhou uh, Xiaomi. The school is going to felicitate the first batch. May I request Sister Edelberg to facilitate our first batch? May we please request Mrs. Bernadette to come up to the stage? The teacher of the first batch, Mrs. Bernadette, we request you to come up to the stage. Yeah. Ramoy, uh, Ramoy Silo, Indian Forest Service. Yeah. Yeah. Biak a teacher. Zampui. Homemaker, uh, yeah, business. Malsom Kimi, uh, business homemaker. Tumo, yeah. Ahlani, housewife. Yeah, and Miss uh, Mrs. Mazovi, teacher. Tommy, Matt, Tommy. She is a teacher. Eli, Elizabeth Cross Tangi, we call her Eli. Uh, she is a teacher. And Pari, Parmoy, housewife. Well, Parmoy, Moitei, uh, she is working in an office, government service. Van Sing Pui, teacher. And Tangi, Lian Tangi. She's working in the uh, office, government servant. And uh, yes, Zhu Xiaomi, housewife. And yes, uh, Lian Pui, housewife. And our teacher, uh, Miss Bernadette Tanghumi. Yes. And myself, Lultran Puya, yeah, teacher. Thank you so much, teacher, on behalf, sister, on behalf of uh, the alumni. Yeah, thank May you. May so I call much. upon Sister Rosaline to give a bouquet of flowers?
Yeah. Uh, can I have that? Yes. Okay. Uh, as the felicitations are in progress, uh, let me, on behalf of the this batch, oh, okay, a photo ass session first. Uh, we we somehow miss uh, Sister Harriet and Sister Rose Margaret, who were our teachers. After the felicitation of the alumni, uh, we request the ex-teachers to come onto the stage. As the teachers are coming, uh, let me just make one announcement. This lectern, which uh, is before me, which this black lectern, uh, we have given the, this batch of students for use to the students. This is a donation from this group as an uh, acknowledgement okay, of our gratitude. Thank you so much, Marymount School. I, I am back on the stage. I'm sorry. Uh, amidst this uh, confusion, I have come back because uh, today is uh, the Jubilee Day. So on behalf of the alumni, not only of the first batch, all the batches of alumni, I would like to congratulate the school on having attained 50 years of God's blessing and God's guidance. Yeah. And yes, our teachers are leaving, uh, the bishops are leaving. Anyway, uh, those faithfuls who are still here, I hope you, you can uh, give ears to me. Uh, when the sisters of Bethany arrived in Aizol, uh, I don't know what our, our parents thought, what prompted our parents to get us admitted as the first batch. And uh, thinking back on behalf of all those first few students, I would like to uh, express our gratitude to what the school has done to us. Uh, we know today that we 
cannot do enough for the school. We cannot do, uh, the school has done much than what we have done. And uh, today we have a uh, few of our alum, fellow alumni from uh, various batches here in amidst, uh, amongst us. Okay. And uh, I think uh, uh, Dr. Piju was talking about uh, forming a regular alumni. Uh, so if we have time, maybe later, uh, after this uh, function, uh, we will gather out here and then for, uh, form a formal uh, alumni. Okay, before uh, we depart, before the vote of thanks, can we have a, a, a clip of what we have prepared for the school? Uh, we have heard this sound when we were young. So we want you to hear the sound which we have prepared. I don't play it here, I don't play it here. 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 school has molded us to be better citizens, to be better persons. We cherish the core, core values on behalf of all the alumni, all those bygone students. We would like to, uh, we, we wish the school to grow and blossom, to bear bountiful fruits, because we know that God is with the school. Uh, God has uh, founded the school and he's still guiding the school. May God bless you all. Ever need the white and the green ever stay. Thank you so much. May I request Sister Irene to give the vote of thanks. I'll not say much because before us our authorities, our sisters, and all those who have spoke, uh, spoke a lot. So uh, today I would like to say a big thank to each and every one of you. In the way to my kalome, kan lom tak meo meo niti ka milau siya sa don niya.